Former U.S. Attorney Guy Lewis joins us now. Guy, the former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida, and you've worked very closely with the FBI for many years. What's your reaction when you hear that they got these two tips, one in September of last year and the second one on January 5th from somebody who knew Nicholas Cruz and it wasn't even sent to the FBI office in Miami? It's almost inexplicable, uh, Elliot. Look, the FBI is a wonderful organization made up of women and men who work their hearts out every single day to get it right. They didn't get it right on this one. Clearly, uh, a ball was dropped, and I'm anxious to hear from Director Ray, from Christopher Ray, about how it happened, what happened, and, and really he needs to re rectify the situation immediately. Well, Governor Scott is calling for him to resign. I mean, do you think that, that it's enough to just get to the bottom of it and figure out what happened? Do you think he should be, uh, you know, listening to these calls to resign? No, I don't, I don't think he should be sacked. I, I, I think uh, Chris did exactly the right thing by coming out and being very transparent about it, Ruta Bay. He was the first one to come out and really explain we uh, made a mistake. And in this context, that's too little too late and I agree with that with Governor Scott on that but uh, in terms of of, uh, of resigning or being fired uh, look the, the reality is it's a um, it, it's an assist it's not even a special agent who's on the phone who's taking these uh, analyzing them and it should have come down to Miami no question about that just crushing news for those families uh, that are already dealing with so much I want to ask you about uh, another development a development that we learned today guy which is that the public defenders who are representing the shooter in this case say that they uh, are not going to contest the charges they admit that he was behind the act what they want though is for the prosecutors to take the death penalty off the table what do you think about that? What are the chances of the prosecutors agreeing to it? Uh, the prosecutors will not take the death penalty off the table, Rick. Um, it uh, is, uh, I'm sure the prosecutors anticipated the request. Um, I'm not surprised by it. The evidence is so strong. I mean, you literally have hundreds of witnesses, uh, tapes, um, a confession where the shooter uh, actually confessed to what he did wrong. Um, I'm not sure what defense the young man has except for uh, psychological and uh, mental well, issues. Well, we've been hearing from the attorneys. They've talked about his difficult mm -hmm. life. They've talked about having lost his mom. They've talked about a number of things, almost as though they're, they're giving mitigating factors in a sentencing hearing where they're already trying to get their, their client off, uh, off the hook. You're exactly right, Rick. And, the, and really the distinction is, is they're not trying, I mean, forget about not guilty. Forget about not being charged. They're trying to play to that one or two jurors who are going to say, you know what, 